So in this video today, we're going to be talking about the best place to put your short term or emergency fund savings. So a lot of people out there, including myself, have a decent amount of cash saved up that you don't necessarily want to go out there and invest in the stock market or real estate because this is money that you want to have set aside in case of an emergency or just, you know, to have a rainy day fund. Now, most people, unfortunately, even if they do have their rainy day fund, they place this in a traditional bank savings account, which typically pays around 0.05% interest. And as we know, inflation sits at around 2% per year. And as a result, they are losing money every single year because of inflation. Now, there are a couple of different online savings accounts that are able to offer significantly better rates primarily because they don't have any physical branch locations, which saves a huge amount of money. Now, in the past, Ally Bank was like the go-to place for online savings. But then, in June of this year, they had a very surprising announcement. And it was one of the first times that they had a rate change uh, towards the negative. So they were paying a APY of 2.2%. However, then in June of this year, they lowered that rate to 2.1%. So Ally Bank used to really be leading the pack here with the online savings account offering a very competitive rate, but they've kind of fallen out of favor here with this rate change. And we've seen some pretty uh, big people, including Graham Stephan, even talking about potentially changing over to a different online savings account because of this difference in the rate. And it may not seem like a lot of money, but when you have tens of thousands or even hundreds hundreds of thousands of dollars in some cases sitting in an online bank account, the difference of half a percent could be a significant chunk of change, making it worth potentially switching over to one of these different online savings account options. About three weeks ago, we heard about a completely different option that seemed very appealing. And that was something called the Wealthfront Cash Account being brought to us by Wealthfront, which is an online robo-advisor. And essentially what they were offering here is a 2.57% APY, which is significantly better than the 2.1% being offered by Ally Bank. Now beyond that, there were actually a couple of other areas where this online bank account was superior to what Ally Bank was offering. So through the Wealthfront cash account, you could get FDIC insurance up to $1 million. On top of that, you got unlimited free transfers, whereas with Ally Bank, you were limited to six transfers per month. You also got zero fees with a $1 minimum and of course that very appealing 2.57% APY. Well, shortly after this announcement, here we are about a month later and we have a third option, which is even better than Ally Bank and Wealthfront. And in case you guys haven't guessed it already, it comes to us from their biggest competitor known as Betterment. So Betterment released something about a year ago called Betterment Smart Saver. I actually talked about it on this channel here, but it caught a lot of flack because of the fact that this account did not have FDIC insurance. So Betterment went back to the drawing board and they decided to come up with a better option which does have FDIC insurance. And on top of that, this account allows you to earn up to 2.69% APY, which is significantly better than Ally Bank at 2.1%. And it's even better than what Wealthfront is offering through the Wealthfront Cash account. So this service is being labeled Betterment every day. Right now they are only offering online savings accounts, but down the road later this year, they will also be releasing an online checking account, which will also come with a debit card to do your purchases right through your Betterment everyday account. And this will integrate directly with the Betterment robo investing platform. And a lot of people are probably wondering why is it that Ally Bank can't pay a rate like Betterment every day or the Wealthfront cash account. And it primarily has to do with the stages these companies are in. Both Wealthfront and Betterment are still in the growth stage and they have a lot of venture capital behind them. And as a result, they can afford to pay significantly higher rates than their competitors who are more established. So through Betterment Everyday Savings, what you're getting is FDIC insurance up to $1 million, which is the same thing being offered by 
wealth front, you're getting a zero fee platform. So there are no fees whatsoever for using Betterment every day. Not a $1 minimum, but they dropped it down to a $0 minimum balance. And then of course that 2.69% APY. And like I said, this will ultimately be replacing that feature known as Smart Saver. But as of right now, this is one of the most appealing and attractive savings options paying the highest APY. So one of the questions you probably have is, will I be switching over from Ally Bank? And unfortunately, one of the rules Betterment has for their affiliates is that their affiliates are not allowed to have a Betterment account. Uh, it's really kind of annoying and I love Betterment and what they're offering, but unfortunately because of my affiliate relationship with them, I am not allowed to have an account. But I may be switching over to Wealthfront's cash account since it is a higher APY than what I'm getting with Ally Bank. But overall, uh, what I would say here is people who are looking to maximize and get that highest APY, Ally seems to be falling from at the front of the pack towards the middle of the pack in terms of their rates. And we are seeing significantly better rates from Betterment, for example, as well as Wealthfront. Uh, if you guys do decide that you want to learn more about this and potentially sign up for the Betterment Everyday Savings, that's the top link in the description below. As I mentioned already, I am affiliated with Betterment. So if you do use my link um, at no additional cost to you, I get a small commission in the process. Totally up to you if you guys want to use that link or not. Um, at the end of the day, I just wanted to bring these options to you guys just to show you that there are you know, online savings options that are paying significantly better rates than Ally Bank. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's going to wrap up this video. Let me know in the comment section down below, where do you do your banking and you know what kind of rate are you seeing with your savings or your checking account? Uh, I would love to hear what options you guys are using. But thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.